Ooh, here we are. Nice, calm creek. This is, uh, I don't know what it's called, but it's right in Fairbanks. <sighs> nice scenic. It's early morning. Uh, saw the Northern Lights. They actually do show up during daylight. They're hard to see, though. They show up at, like, uh, 3 in the morning. I guess they say, uh, like, something like 100, like, something like 100, 150 days out of the year, Fairbanks can see the Northern Lights. Uh, I got some rain coming in, so I want to get going and get in front of it. But this is my last day in Fairbanks, so... Saying goodbye. Uh, Alaska's gorgeous. Um, don't think I'd want to live here with the winters, but it's great to visit. And then at some point it starts to kind of like, wow, gee, you know, the rest of the world's calling. So, uh, love the state. Absolutely do. It's quirky. People don't tell you how quirky uh, uh, Alaska is, but Alaska is very quirky. I'll talk about the quirkiness some other time. But off we go. You can see it here, it's North Pole, Alaska. A lot of people get their uh, picture in North Pole to say, hey, I went to the North Pole. But, you know, it's really just a little town just outside Fairbanks. So, at one of my many, when you see gas, fill up stops. In a way, it's kind of sad. I'm uh, on my way out of Alaska. Yep, uh, I'm taking uh, Fairbanks and I'm headed back home. This is the uh, long journey home. All the way up in Alaska, I did a couple other things which I'll put videos out for when I get around to it. The Arctic Circle, uh, the Iditarod, Denali. So I got around a little bit. I definitely did enjoy this whole area and it's absolutely gorgeous and beautiful and definitely worthwhile. But the, I can tell from the time I entered to the time I left, you could tell that the motorhomes and just the number of people were actually increasing. You could really tell. It was, it was quite obvious. And I would even tell now. I'm on my way back. But taking the Alaska Highway and just the traffic that was headed into Alaska was far more substantive than I, when I was coming in. The Alaska Highway itself is actually uh, just a long road that starts, I uh, want to say, all the way down in, I forget what, Dawson Creek. On all, in Canada, it goes all the way up to uh, into Alaska. It was actually constructed by the uh, U.S. military originally, with the help from Canada, in order to uh, supply Alaska back in like uh, the 50s and 60s, because they realized what kind of valuable terrain Alaska was, especially with the new uh, Soviet threat. So, the Alaska Highway is about 1,500 miles long, and it's incredibly long and detailed and just gorgeous terrain. It's just something that everyone should uh, really enjoy and you'd be surprised at how much is actually on this trail as I'm heading back. Oh, just look at this lake, this gorgeous little lake in Alaska. Um, those are people footprints, people walking around the lake. Uh, and, I mean, here you can see cottages on it. I gotta imagine, I mean, maybe they're year-round, maybe they're just summertime. I mean, you, you don't know. There are places, plenty of places around here that have like RV parks or, or fishing spots or camping spots. And you can probably even rent some of these out. And you basically have a lake to yourself. You see a couple people out there. I mean, for what? At least five months out of the year, this, is, uh, this lake is fishable. And there's probably like seven months out of the year it's covered in ice.
So nice and quiet. Probably see a lot of moose here. Even caribou. And you're in uh, brown bear territory, not grizzly bear territory. Uh, there are a lot of fishermen come up here. Lots. I've met a lot of people. And the funny thing is about uh, more than any other state, which I guess this makes sense, when you stop and if there was anyone else here, you would swap stories or like if you were, people would always be curious of like what's up ahead because most people don't know because the roads can deteriorate. Everyone's asking you, you know, what's up ahead? Did you see anything? Is the, how's the road conditions? So <laughs> this is Alaska. Now there are plenty of lakes you can just stop and fish. I was amazed, uh, just looking at that lake there, there were plenty of little homes where people probably just vacation or just show up. I don't think people actually live along this lake. I think it's like a vacation place where people rent to like come and just fish and just relax by the uh, by the lake for like some time. But who knows how long they actually do it. But the Alaska is actually full of those things as you kind of head out. And this is me heading back uh, Heading back uh, to uh, Toke and then back out. So this is the, just the journey back out from Fairbanks to Toke right now.
that was actually me stopping a toke and just kind of having a, a quick breather. The other thing that happened was just the, the sheer amount of bugs had increased. And I was, you could tell I was actually having a problem keeping them off the, 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 the camera itself. I had this little rule. For every four bugs that would hit my visor that I could tell, meant at least one bug had hit the camera. And uh, it seemed that every time I would clean it off, uh, every time I would look again, there'd be another bug. And it was just a matter of uh, the size of the bug, which is kind of determination. And they're they're kind of kind of nasty. And you think with all the cars going, it would kind of somehow dent the population. But no, they were out in force all the time. Here you can see kind of the outline underwater calendar of the uh, fishes, the murky rivers because of the glacier sediment. The Christine rivers are uh, waterfall off the mountains like regular stuff. And then of course the last great gold rush. You know Alaska, plenty of open area just to enjoy and love. Stop where you like. If those trees weren't there you'd see a river on the other side. But here you can enjoy it as much or as little as you want. Get out, hike around, I've done that. But the beauty here, of course, is just kind of going around and enjoying the scenery. Alaska is absolutely spectacular. They call it kind of like the last frontier, or the, yeah, it, it's, it's just really, just so left alone in its own beautiful natural state. And contrary to uh, popular belief, a lot of people here are very conservation, very mindful of nature, and want to preserve it as best as possible. And they, they're really kind of like so many natural preserves, so many uh, wildlife uh, refuge, refuges, and that's what Alaska is. This is just so enjoyable, and I just uh, had to find a nice place to stop. Um, I'm still in the kind of area where it does not get dark at night. That's just that's just being that close north that it just it's not going to get dark. So I had to find a place to hunker down and uh, enjoy the evening. So. That's what I looked for, and I would find plenty of spectacular, because when you're up in the Yukon, it's almost camp where you want to kind of uh, deal. Because there's just no way, there's no police, there's no nowhere near the kind of police level to actually police this stuff, so they, they kind of give a lot of carte blanche to just ask you to clean up after yourself. And this is the Yukon, this is Alaska, and it's all fun. Look at this, just off the road. Why wing it? 85% of the birds that nest in Yukon must fly from south. Must fly south each year. Wetland Cafe, all about the birds and nature, but just look at it. Just look at it. Underwater containers. Still in uh, prime moose. Oh, we are in moose country. Oh, these are great places to stop. Look at this, Yukon. You are here. The real question is how often do you want to stop? Rats. Well, it's a muskrat. Is a beaver a muskrat? <laughs> 
Because they'll, yeah, they'll do the snow ice thing. Oh. Gotta love this. Gotta love this. Just amazing scenery. How, how often do you want to stop? I mean, that's a real question. 